प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल माई आर क्रिएटर एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन थैंक यू हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस फोर्सिंग फंक्शन और इनपुट फंक्शन और यू कैन से दैट द डिस्टर्बेंस फर्स्टली वी विल स्टार्ट द फोर्सिंग फंक्शन विद द वेरी फेमस फंक्शन व्हिच इज कॉल्ड स्टेप इनपुट फंक्शन स्टेप इनपुट फंक्शन और सिंपली वी विल डिस्कस हेयर द यूनिट स्टेप फंक्शन यूनिट स्टेप फंक्शन सो see it here it's a graph between your x t and the time at time 0 there will be a steady state it's your steady state and the value of x t will be x s but at time t we will give a step input which is your unit step input here so it will be like this and the magnitude of this step function will be one that is why it is known as the unit step function it is your new steady state and this is your old steady state let's see if this step function has the magnitude of m then your deviation from the old steady state to the new steady state will be of magnitude m and this will be your x t and this your time at time 0 and this is your x s so how can we define this uh, uh, this function is like x t is equals to x s at any time which is less than to 0 or time equal to or greater than to 0 it will be x s plus 1 here in this case because the magnitude of the uh, step function is 1 that is why it is known as unit step function so let's talk about the deviation uh, so the deviation will be uh, x t minus x s here we can say that the capital x t and the capital x t will be capst capital x t will be u of t here for the unit step function but for the function of the magnitude uh, for the unit step for the step function of magnitude m it will be capital x t is equals to m into u of t it's your first uh, input function second is your ramp input function let's see the graph of ram input function just suppose it's your steady state it's your axis and this graph is between x t and time and at time t we will give a input a ram function of magnitude m oh sorry 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 we will give a uh, we are talking about the ram function okay so it's your ram function of the slope m sorry for my mistake uh, this your uh, ram function of slope m so how can we, how can we uh, um, define this function it's your like x t is equals to x is at t is less than to 0 and at t is equals to 0 or greater than to 0 it will be Access, access plus mt. Uh, the equation for this line is really uh, your x t plus m x t is equals to m t. It's like y is equals to m x plus c for this type of line, which having the coefficient. Uh, the which have the intersection at the y axis is c and the slope is m the slope is m so uh, we can relate this equation with this equation it will be like x s plus mt so the 
uh, let's talk about the deviation deviation capital xt is equals to the uh, your deviation will be defined like zero at t is less than to zero and mt t is greater than to zero or equal to zero so the final deviation equation will be uh, mt and if you want to take the laplace of uh, this equation uh, x xt then we will find that x is equals to m into 1 upon s square it will be simply m upon s square because laplace of x to the power n is equals to n factorial upon s to the power n plus 1 okay so that's it for the ramp input function uh, and uh, the third and the most important input function is your sinusoidal sinusoidal input functions so see listen carefully it's your graph between xt and time your function is at steady state at time less than to zero but at time t we will give a forcing function or input function of magnitude plus a and minus a the sinusoidal input function the curve will be like this if we define this function it will be like xt is xt is equals to x is at time less than to zero and x is plus sine omega t at time greater than to zero or equal to zero the deviation function will be defined like it will be zero at time is less than to zero and a sine omega t if the magnitude will be a then it will be uh, t is greater than or equal to zero so laplace of this deviation function which is your x is here it will be a omega upon s square plus omega square the last important input function is your impulse function impulse input function okay it's your old steady state at time t is equals to zero we will give a input impulse input function to the process and the specification for the impulse input function is that it will be if we provide a magnitude of m of Im impulse input function the steady state will deviate with this with the magnitude of m then it will come back to the initial position also so it uh, this type of function is also known as direct direct delta function it's your direct not direct direct delta function and it is represented by delta t so definition of this function is um, your excess plus delta t and your ut so if we define the deviation it will be like delta t ut and the laplace of this function is simply one if this uh, if the am amplitude or oh, sorry the magnitude of this function uh, will be m so the laplace will be m simply but impulse input function is not practically possible 
uh, I will tell you in the later section uh, why this type of function is not possible but uh, uh, for this lecture it is enough thank you that's it from the presentation area